Oh, oh shoot. Sorry, Sorry, Sorry. Na naman. Why'd you knock the... Here, give it to it me. It fell. I did not knock it down. Hello to all our subscribers and friends. This video shows us installing a set of Helwig helper springs on our Ford F-350 pickup. These helper springs increase our rear overload leafs from one to three. With the camper mounted, there was a noticeable sag. After moving some of our stuff from the apartment into the camper, the sag became even worse. We are hoping the Helwigs will help alleviate this problem. You gonna open this in first, or that in? Which one? What? Whatever. Just gotta slide them out and get the, the bolt package. I think it's much better to do it right here. Why does it need to be so squeaky? Hmm. Just need to slide it out and get the bolt package. Wait, this is almost open. Wait, wait. Right through there. See it? Yeah, there you go. You shouldn't have to cut cardboard, just tape. There you go. The cardboard's open, okay? All right, so that's what I'm worried about. Here, I think this is what I want right here. Yeah. Why don't you just take it all out, okay? Yeah, I'm going to cut the whole thing open. <laughs> so much for the so box. Yeah, there we go. Over here. I can't really see where to cut. Let me do it. There you go. Good job. Okay, there should be a plastic thing with bolts in it. This one? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Make sure we got four of these. No, we only got three. No, you got one? No, it's missing a part. Oh, oh, right here. Oh, thank God. All right. Let's get all these out. What face? Oh, these are like trash. Yeah. This is so heavy, you know. We just gotta make sure we got a socket that'll fit that one. So. What socket? I would say it might be a seven eight, just like our. Uh, lug nuts. Right. Oh, these. Those are the bars that attach here. You don't have to open them. Okay. So it goes like this? Yep. That's right. Now let me see if I got the... Upper, I think you uh, got everything. I have to make sure I have one that will fit that. Then you go ahead. <laughs> okay. We did not do it like that before. I know. We had the two rubber things underneath, remember? Yeah. Can you help me straighten it up a little? Move it. Ew, is it that? It doesn't sit quite as square as the other one. Now this one should be, excuse me, though. Oh. Why? Is it good or no? No. It should be centered on the block. There. Just like that. Center it up. Move. Bring it back. Like that. Yeah, can, can you bring it? Yeah, like that. It's not solid or something. It's good enough. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Now bring the whole thing this way a little bit. Okay, whatever you like. Well, we can adjust it as it gets up there. Okay. About there? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you gotta get an angle and make it straight. There you go. Okay. Perfect. Right there. It's centered? I think so. We need to take the wheels first. Yeah, we're only going to be able to do one side at a time, though, it seems like. Uh, that's fine. Can you do it? Uh, that's got to be a six inch lift. Da. <clears throat> Focus first right here. It's hard. Well, f it's hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd feel better if you didn't have your head under there, just in case, okay? Why? It might fall? It could. And then? Might bang your head. I see. Ah. Is the wheel off the ground? It's already lifted. Okay. Here. That's about it? 
Maybe a little more, huh? Well, what's gonna happen if we, we take this one off? Nothing gonna happen. We're gonna let it down on the jack stand. That's it. <sighs> da, it's not the right one. Why don't you just use the other one? You don't want to use a torque wrench to loosen nuts. Oh, okay. No, this. Which one is it? The one that fits. Probably the biggest one. See if it'll go all the way on there. There you go. That's the one I was looking for. Okay. You push down there and I'll lift up. Let's see if this looks any different. It might be the same thing. They're the same. Yeah. Move it a little bit right here, this like that. That's good. Well, they should be centered. That means the gap should be the same both sides. So just like that. Yeah, they're both the same. I'll need one more nut. No, there's like a there's like a oh, bar. A bar. There you go. This is good. Start another one. If you can find a one that'll go on easy. So the ones that go on rough are the ones that'll be on top of those. <clears throat> Flat washer. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm sorry. The flat washer should be like this or like that? Yeah, like that. Like that? It will make a noise too. Yep. Like click click. Yep. Oh, oh shoot. Sorry. Okay now. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Okay, can you get in there and squirt just the opposite sides of where I did? Oh, yeah. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Both sides and then the bottom, both sides. Now, why is it it's foaming? It's white lithium grease, honey. Why'd you knock the... Here, give it to it me. It fell. I did not knock it down. Give me a second, okay? Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. Silicone lubricant is what's recommended for going in between the leaves. Okay. Now, these leaves are not all the way hanging, so we're not going to get it, all of it in. That's fine. It works. Just a little bit more. One more time. 
Can you do it? <coughs> Good job. Oh, maybe one more. more, I guess. We'd also order a set of timber and rubber springs with spacers. So we're now going to unbox our timber and suspension enhancement devices here and take a good look at them. You may need a longer bolt depending on how many spacers we have to use to make it touch the top of the rear axle. But I can dummy that up once we get underneath it. Let's take a look at them. Okay. Wow. Here are the spacers. Each one is one inch. I've got six of them. Three for each side if necessary. Okay. And here are the timbers. Oh. This is the part that bolts to the frame of the truck. Well, let's take these up first. These are the actual through the middle here. I see. Smells like rubber in here. There's the... Oh, yeah, we're going to need much longer bolts than that. What the hell? Oh, these are the spacers that come with it. These are probably half inch. I guess that's it. That's all the pieces. This is a mock-up, basically, of how they're going to fit under the truck. This will... Uh, this will bolt through a hole in the frame, then the timbrons are bolted up through the bottom. This is the half inch spacer that comes with it. It has a locking nut on the top, so we'll tighten by going in through the bottom, holding the locking nut, and then tightening up. Now, if these are too far away from the axle, that's when we use the spacers, but then we have to go obtain a longer bolt go in through here from uh, Home Depot. So the first step is to get the old parts off the bump stop on the axle and then to hold this up and mock it up or possibly just mount this part but I'm going to hold it up and mock it up so we can see how many spacers we'll need to get this part just a little bit above the rear axle maybe half an inch. That way, when the camper sits on it, it will compress this thing right here and hopefully uh, improve our ride and height. I'm sure he's got one, but I'm going to go digging in his tool. No need, no. You have to do it with the end wrench. That's fine. How are you coming? Good. Did you get that first one off? Yeah. Can I see it? Right here. <clears throat> this one. That's what it was, huh? Mm-hmm. You need the oil spray? No need. All right. Is, is it turning? Yeah. Okay, good job. Unfortunately, due to the high lift of our truck's rear suspension, we were unable to use them. Even with all of the spacers, the remaining distance from the bottom of the timbrons to the top of the rear axle assembly was over a foot. We might opt for a Hellwig sway bar in the future. We are also looking at the possibility of installing airbags. We will see how the camper rides with the helper springs installed and go from there. Thanks again for watching. We appreciate you coming along with us on our journey. Until next time, keep it real.